I just found one of the best Bitcoin liquidity pools across DeFi and I'm going to share that with you on today's video. Welcome back on the channel. We are here again for another journey exploring the wild world of crypto, in this case specifically DeFi. And if you didn't check my latest video, it goes to show how fast the landscape can move in this very volatile financial system. After all, it's a new area and volatility is the name of the game. So if you haven't watched that video, I just went through some of the best liquidity pools for Bitcoin without impermanent loss. If you want to check it, I'll leave a link for it down in the description. But a few days later, another one showed up and I'm just going to share that with you as of today. So you see, a couple days went by and another even better performing pool showed up. And that's none other than TBTC paired with CBBTC on Aerodrome V1. It's on base chain. The APY is a stunning 38% and get this, fully paid in Aero. You can see here on the chart, it just peaked and then there's a little bit of correction. This is natural and as the TVL increases, it's also natural that the reward APY will tone down a little bit. The thing about this specific pair is that, as you can see here, now the TVL increased to $375,000 and now the reward APY just toned down, like I said. So we're now looking at 25%, which will be keep going down if people keep on depositing to the pool. But still, it's a great opportunity and the people who jump in the first, they will profit the most because they will take advantage of these huge APYs. And TBTC, I went over it on my last video, but it's fully decentralized. It's minted by the threshold network, while CBBTC, it's centralized. It's the Coinbase version of Bitcoin. So if you want to use Bitcoin on base chain, this is one option. It's just the same thing as using Bitcoin on Binance Network, you'll see that there's only BTCB for people to use. Actually, there's more, there's also Solve BTC, but the one that has more market, it's going to be BTCB. But again, be aware of the risks, those are centralized assets, and the same goes for CBBTC, of course. Now, we'll take a look at what's happening with Verodrome's pools of Bitcoin, such as this one, and we'll take a look at it in a second. But I also want to bring to your attention, there's a very interesting options also here mainly wrapped bitcoin with the meso finance protocol on aptos this is paying 12 percent in rewards so this is just accounting for the rewards the incentives for people to deposit into this specific pool think that the 30-day average apy will keep on going down but while it doesn't it's still a very good option to go on in and even if it keeps 12%, I mean, it's 12% a year for holding wrapped Bitcoin with also the potential for a future airdrop from Meso Finance. So it's a very, very solid option. Now here on Pendle, there's also very interesting options and Pendle is a protocol I covered here on the channel some months ago. Again, if you want to check it, link for it under in the description, but they have their very own utility that they bring to DeFi and make, that makes it to be a very bullish protocol. Now they have three pools here for Bitcoin, UniBTC, SolveBTC.B and PumpBTC. I'm not familiar with all of those, only SolveBTC, that's a legit project, it's also decentralized, but when it comes to the others you need to make your mind and again assess the risks. So let's go ahead and check what's happening with UniBTC because it's going to show you actually what I just found because I didn't knew about it and I went on did my research just now while I was recording the video and I happened to found out the following. Okay, we're on CoinGecko and you see the price for this token that should be pegged to Bitcoin just went down 43%. I'm not sure what happened, but you can see this big dump here, huge red candle. This happened for the past 24 hours very recently then. Actually, it has happened for the last two and a half to three hours and it's not looking good, right? So it's something that you have to have in mind when you're considering pegged options because you need to account for the reliability of the teams. If they have enough audits, 
have they been operating on the space have, are they trusted do they have a big following all of those things do matter and right now we're seeing here that things are not looking good for this token of course potentially you can try to buy the dip and see what happens maybe it will bounce back up but also it's definitely a showcase of when things go wrong with this type of opportunities in DeFi. Now that being said, let's jump in here on Aerodrome V1 and see what's happening with TBTC paired with CBBTC, the Coinbase version for Bitcoin. Now here on Aerodrome, I just went over to liquidity. I selected both tokens that make up for the pair and it's showing me all the options. So there's two overall, basic stable, concentrated stable, and actually there's a third one, but this one probably has been deprecated. TVL is now at zero, so it doesn't really matter. Now the difference between the, these two is that the first one, you won't have to worry about a thing. It's normal liquidity, while the concentrated stable, it's showing you that it's a concentrated liquidity pool and it's also stable because, again, both assets are pegged to Bitcoin price. They do also have very different fee tiers, so the first one has 0.05% and the concentrated one has 0.01%. Now also very important is the APR that they, they are showing. This APR here can be an average because it's a concentrated pool. If you go with a tighter range, you can increase this. And if you go with a wider range, you can also dilute it. And also being a concentrated liquidity pool, of course, you need to set up your ranges and it will need more active management when considered with the first pool. So the first one overall paying 21% APR in arrow rewards i mean it's a very solid option now if you're not aware of how aerodrome works basically when you deposit into this pool you'll be earning solely the reward so you'll get paid in aero the base apy which is the rewards being generated by the volume and the fees that people pay for trading both these assets that's the base apy and it's going to be only available for people who deposit arrow and lock it there so in return you'll get VE arrow and that puts you in a let's call it a VIP tier when it comes to liquidity providers and you can use that to make up for your own strategy and benefit your position overall by depositing your arrow rewards in it you lock it you get V arrow and while you're doing it over and over you'll just strengthen your position as a V arrow holder and this can definitely influence the rewards that you're getting on Aerodrome because when you are a V Aero holder, you can influence where are the rewards being distributed to. So you can use your voting power to decide more Aero rewards to be directed to this specific pool. Of course, this is optional and you can also start to sell out your rewards as a way for start generating revenue for paying out the risk that you're taking for deploying into this position so this is where you can come on aerodrome the lock tab and from here on you can create a lock gaining greater voting power and higher reward you can also choose the locking time so the longer you lock it for the bigger your voting power will be and then once you have locked your aero tokens now you have ve arrow which you can use to vote here and when you vote, you are directly influencing how emissions are going to be distributed. And when you do that, of course, you earn a share of transaction fees and also the incentives. And also let me add up that Aero is an inflationary token, although the team put into place a lot of burning mechanisms to avoid it to just dilute price too much over time. And the Aero token is sort of the unofficial token for base chain right now there's no native token for to pay gas fees on base you know it's using ethereum but there's a ton of partnerships already ongoing with coinbase and also the aerodrome team so they are highly supported by coinbase and probably that's why there are so many rewards for this specific pool so overall considering the pros and cons i still find this to be a very reliable pool to just grow your bitcoin holdings now let's also touch briefly here on Meso Finance and this pool that is rewarding APT token just by staking RAP Bitcoin. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here on Meso Finance, you can see under the assets dashboard, there will be the RAP Bitcoin option for you to lend your tokens in. 
and if you are a lender on this platform you'll get 12.39 percent paid on the aptos coin so if you're bullish about aptos this can be also a nice way for you to grow your aptos bag or again you can definitely take those rewards sell them buy more bitcoin rinse and repeat grow your bag deposit here more and earn more obviously and by the way guys if you want to know more about yield farming liquidity pools i highly advise you to go and check it out the underdog investor group it's from the crypto labs research team i am affiliated with them but i can vouch for the quality of the service they're providing this will allow you not only to join a community of people involved with DeFi, but also have a more personal experience that likely will help you fast track your results if you join the group using my referral link you will get a 20 percent discount on your first month so definitely if you feel you need the guidance go and check it out all right everyone if you took value from this like and subscribe questions comments or anything else you want to share leave it on the comment section i'll get back to you thank you for watching i'm going to wrap this one up take care and i'll see you on the next one